Hello YouTube and welcome back. Um, I've had hundreds of comments and plenty of emails to back that up that I have. First thing we do is we open up our Lunar Client. This is going to be how to install Lightmatica and see your schematics on there. What we're going to do is we're going to open up here. I'm going to open up my YouTube channel. I'm going to go to here. Not anything here. Go here. Uh, go here. Uh, face reveal. And we'll go to here. Open up this. Pause it because, you know, no one's going to watch it. So, we're, we already have my video open. We're just going to use my video. It'll be down in the description just so you can get here faster. Okay. Hey, Editor Souls here. Um, I'll actually just take the links that are in that video and just post them in the description. So, yeah. I don't know why that didn't pause. Pause. No one cares about speed. Uh, so, first one, Lightmatica download. Go ahead and do this. Go ahead, it'll take you over here to this. And it should pop up the newest, yeah, the latest download. 1.21.5. That's what we're in. You're going to click the top link. It should say Assets 3. It should have Lightmatica Fabric 1.21.5. Uh, Sakura 8 jar and source code and source code. Don't worry about those. Just grab the top one. Just Lightmatica fabric. I'm going to throw them over here into my downloads. Just because. But we want to make sure we also kept the my YouTube tab open. Okay, now once you have finished downloading the Lightmatica folder right here. You go over here. Back over to the YouTube video. Now it's time for the Malib. Go ahead and click on it. Uh, okay, yeah, there we go. 1.21.5 should be the latest. And then it should also say with the assets, Malib Fabric 1.21.5 Secure 8 Jar. We go ahead and click on it. Go here, Downloads. Wait for it to download. Just waiting. There we go. Download complete. Okay, so now that we know we have both of the Lightmatica and the Malib, those are the only those are the two main ones. So all we do is we have those now. We can just close out that. We open our Lunar Client. Go over to Versions. Obviously have the 1.21 point, uh, the 1.21 version selected, and then make sure you have the 21.5 and not make sure it's not 21.4 go click down here on the version settings once you're here all you will go to is open mods folder now you'll go to actually you'll go to the top my fault uh, you'll go up here it should bring you to here the settings game version or heck even maybe the gallery but make sure you go over to view all mods and this is all the mods I have I have world edit and then that's just I figure let's see if it work or not, but I don't know if it does. And then here's my Lymatica and Malib. But for you it should be blank. All you do is go up here to the search mods and then you open mods folder. Okay. Here's all my mods. This brings me straight into the source of Lunar Client of where I install my mods. All you have to do here is just drag your thing over a little bit. Let me shorten it down a little bit for y'all. Okay, if I can grab it. Hello. There we go. We'll just go ahead and shrink that down just because we can. Leave it there. But here's another trick you guys can do. What you do is come down here to your files, right click on it. Should have up all of these. It should be able to open it. You right click on it and you click on File Explorer again. It should bring up a whole nother tab. Go to your downloads. All you do is select those two, you hold left click, and you move it over there. You just drag and drop. That should be it. So there's that. Now if you're wondering how to open your um, your schematics, you should be able to go through here, go back to mods. Uh, actually, no, not mods. Uh, okay, I know what I need to do. This will just be one giant cut. So, all we do here, we go down here at data, if I can spell right. So, 
yeah, you go down here, click, uh, type in uh, percent sign uh, app data percent, open it up, and that should take you into here. You should see your dot Minecraft, and then on your dot Minecraft, you can even pin it. You can go back to roaming, right click on it, and pick uh, pin the quick access, and it'll pin it over here on the side. So what we do now, just go over here, open it, and as you can see, you have all these. But if you really want to find your thing easier, all you have to do is, there we go. Well, that should be this one right here, schematics. And here's all my schematics. Or, if you don't feel like doing that and you get confused, just go slowly through them and look for them and see if you have the thing called schematics. All right, and without that, you can just do that. And, that, and just to show y'all also, this video will also show you how to. So here, look, I have all my mods enabled. It's in one point twenty one point five. You go here and make sure your game is running in Fabric. Uh, otherwise, because it's running in regular Minecraft, it will not work. Heck, I don't even think it'll pop up the mods menu. This is what I'm talking about by the mods for uh, the mod menu. This little mods folder. If you go down here, Fabric Lunar, if you have it there. Yeah, if you just have it in Java, your mods folder, uh, mods folder will not pop up. So make sure you have it in Lunar Fabric, which is down here at the bottom. And whenever you go down here, mods, it's at the top. Whenever you go into your version settings, settings, then just mods. There, it just won't pop up the mods you have. So make sure you're running in Fabric. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with playing on Lunar Client or anything like that. Just because if you like different game styles than anyone else, that's the only thing that matters. I think I'm due to it Minecraft, and my builds are mid, but still doesn't make me scared to show off to my friends like hey look what I've done like stuff like that so and anytime anyone spectating me comes over to my house and looks at the stuff I'm doing on Minecraft it's like yeah and I hate how it looks because it looks like I've cheated everything although I've not I have the um, stats on uh, my world to show y'all I have and even to anyone the hey like my days do count up like, I've worked hard. But I'll make a shortcut right now. Here we go. So, we're here in Lunar Client. Now, the first thing before anyone does anything, don't click single player, multiplayer, or store. Go straight down to the Minecraft settings on the very bottom. Click on Minecraft settings. We're going to go over here to controls. We're going to click on controls. Click on keybinds. And you're going to go all the way down. All the way down. And you're going to see right here, Lunar Client. Create a wave point. Change that. Oh, wait, no, actually. No, keep create wave point. That's my fault, my fault, my fault. But where I have these periods at and the comma and the period at, one of them should be an M. Yeah, both of them are M's. So, toggle to... Uh, to toggle your waypoint you just click it and like it'll show you like you can it's like turning HUD off turning uh, to see them on your screen or not so I always keep that with just the comma and waypoint menu for the love of God change the display waypoint and the waypoint menu I usually do my waypoint menu to a period just so they're right next to each other so without that so right there that'll work but here we'll reset it just to show y'all Go down here, go down here, single player, and let's open up my solo build flats real quick. So, and like y'all saw, bam, just show y'all right now that, hey, this is on. So, so now what we can do is, since we have our mods loaded, our mods are loaded, if we click M, it's only going to pop up our waypoints. 
But now, if we go in here and then controls, keybinds, go all the way down and change comma, period, you guys can do exactly how I do. It's like, it's never a stressful moment ever. But now, if we click M, it brings up our Limatica. Why would you look at that? So, again, uh, not there. If you scroll down into Lunar, like if you're in Lunar Client and you go into the controls and the settings and you scroll all the way down to Keybind, like in Keybinds, uh, you go to Controls, Keybinds, and you go all the way down, and you should see Iris, then the Miscellaneous, the Lunar Client, and you should see Create a Wavepoint, Emote Wheel, Free Look, all that jazz. If your toggle display of waypoints and waypoint menu are not changed to whatever keybind you want that are just not being used up already, it should work. So again, look, where we reset it, click done, try to click M again, only pops up our lunar client waypoints. That's it. But if we go back, controls, keybinds, all the way back down, change the toggle display of waypoints to comma. And the waypoint menu to period. See, look, they're not in red, so they're not being used up or anything. Click back down here. Click M. Oh no, sorry, I clicked N. My fault. M and Limatica pops up easy as B. And load schematics. Here they are. Just click on one. Self image. Load image. Well, load schematic. Here. Load. And then it's supposed to. Um, is it this one? And ta-da, see. It's just where I have my pa uh, page up and down and messes with my um, stream stuff. So, there we go. Have our self image. There it is, so that it's working. So yeah, thank y'all for watching and thank y'all for being patient. So hopefully this should fix everything up. So I went over how to look in your schematics, how to re-download it, and go into and into there and how to drag and drop I showed y'all how to actually have it pop up onto the game and how to change the settings and what change the settings to change and make sure both are changed so yeah, thank y'all for watching and hope this cleared up um, my links my socials will be down in the description you don't have to go to them I'm not gonna beg and ask like oh well if you do this or do that yeah, it's just up to y'all. Y'all want to like or subscribe? It's completely up to y'all. If you don't, you don't. If you do, you do. I, and if you do, I deeply appreciate it. And if you don't, I can understand. So, again, thank y'all so much for watching, and peace out.